I'm Bill Lepp. Welcome to my office for, I believe, the third version of Bill's Quarantine Storytelling Time. Here is a bit of absurdity for you. This is one of my favorite pieces that I've ever written. I hardly ever do it on stage, so here we go. How to hunt bear. One, know you are a hunting bear to begin with. Bear hunting is not a spur-of-the-moment activity. If you're in the woods and you see a bear and then you decide, I am bear hunting, you are at a distinct disadvantage. You probably won't have the proper equipment on hand. It is another matter altogether if you're in the woods and a bear sees you and the bear thinks, I am hunting people. Bears are born with the equipment to hunt you. If the bear initiates the hunt, you cannot then decide, I am bear hunting. At that point, you're just in a pickle. Two, have a weapon capable of dramatically halting a bear's forward progress. A rifle is the best choice. A big rifle that holds a lot of what people generally call bullets. Some bear hunters use bows and arrows, but people who hunt with bows and arrows are generally people who, you know, aren't rich enough to be Republicans, and thus they can't afford a, a rifle, which is why Walter Mondale and Al Gore never shot a guy in the face. That's an old joke, and I think it's funny, and it comes from a time when we could make fun of politics or a particular politician, and you weren't, uh, nobody felt like you were attacking their whole personal belief system. So just chuckle like it's funny and move on with your day. And also, that's not the end of all of that Republican-Democrat stuff. Uh, end parentheses. Arrows are so remarkably slow that you can usually get out of the way before they even hit you, especially if you are a bear. And most bears are Democrats. We know this because even though they could eat meat all the time, they often eat skunk cabbage and berries. Three. Remember that bears are not aardvarks. You cannot hunt bears the same way you can hunt aardvarks. Everybody knows that you can hunt an aardvark by saying, oh man, here comes that crazy aardvark. And then you grab it by its long nose and you smack it into the ground or into a tree. This would not work on bears because bears are not aardvarks. Furthermore, bears and aardvarks often share trade secrets, and thus bears have found ways to cleverly disguise their abnormally long noses. Additionally, aardvarks are not Democrats. Four, start with a small bear and then work your way up. Start with a small bear species. Black bears, for example, are a good place to start. Polar bears and Kodiaks are poor first choices, and koala bears, while small, are not bears despite their name. They are cunning and untrustworthy marsupials. Untrustworthy marsupials are not fun to hunt because sometimes they just play dead until you put them in your pocket, at which point they set up house and you have to explain to everyone why you have a marsupial in your pants. Plus, a lot of marsupials are amateur magicians, and they're always saying, look, nothing in my pocket. And then they turn their pocket inside out, which can be really disgusting. One advantage, however, to having a koala around is that if you're walking through the woods with a koala and you meet a real bear, often the two will stop to argue about the koala bear's bear status. These are often long arguments, <clears throat> so <clears throat> during the argument, if you decide I am bear hunting, you have time to go home, get a gun, and come back and hunt the real bear while it's distracted by the marsupial. Panda bears should not be hunted at all because they are extinct. Four, don't hunt bear naked. This just sends the wrong message to everyone. Five, locate suitable bear habitat. Find an area in which it is financially reasonable for you to travel. You don't want to waste all your money just getting to the place where you're going to be bear hunting because, let's face it, you probably aren't coming back, so leave a little cash behind for the family. Go somewhere close to home. Some suitable bear habits include the woods, dark caves, dumpsters, campgrounds, and presently, Wall Street. Zoos are not suitable for hunting bear. Neither is Soldier Field. Six, go hunt bear. Once you've decided to hunt bear, have outfitted yourself with a suitable weapon, dressed, chosen a destination, and checked your pockets for marsupials, you are ready to hunt bear. Good luck! Note on hunting licenses and permits. Licenses and permits are not needed to hunt bear. Bears are considered varmints because they often get into garbage cans and because they are often 
Democrats. There is even some data suggesting that polar bears hold the liberal-minded idea that their environments and habitats have been shrinking. A final note, a note on tree stands. Some bear hunters prefer a tree stand. Tree stands are platforms way up in a tree where a hunter can scan large areas of terrain and sit comfortably. Tree stands also provide the hunter a safe place should a bear decide to hunt humans. Because everybody knows that bears can't climb trees. This stems from their group insurance policy deeming tree climbing a dangerous activity. So, for insurance reasons, the only bear you are likely to find in a tree is a koala bear, and they are not bears no matter what they tell you. Incidentally, bears have been strongly urged by their life insurance companies not to engage in the sport of being hunted. Thank you very much. This has been More Absurdity from Bill Lapp's office.